Alpine has paraded in a show of French excellence at Le Mans, while Romain Grosjean gets his first oval experience. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Alpine got back to business last weekend for a stunning display of French excellence at iconic 24-hour racing event Le Mans. The brand, involved in sports cars, rallying and Formula One, celebrated its heritage and success with a pre-race parade of honor. The drivers, including Hungarian Grand Prix winner Esteban Ocon and two-time F1 world champion Fernando Alonso, were all briefed before being strapped into their cars and heading out on track with the Formula One car the centerpiece of the brand's motorsport charge, one piloted by Alonso, who's twice won Le Mans with Toyota. The F1 car was joined by Alpine's two-time LMP2 title-winning A470, its Monte Carlo rally-winning A110 car, the title-winning A110 GT4, along with five of the brand's production vehicles. In the 24-hour race that followed, Alonso's former team Toyota cruised to its fourth straight Le Mans victory, a crushing 1-2 result, and its first at the French track under Weck's new hypercar regulations. Former F1 driver Romain Grosjean got his first taste of IndyCar ovals last weekend, with the Swiss-French racer 14th in the Bomarito Automotive Group 500 held in Madison, Illinois. Grosjean overturned his decision to not race on ovals after watching the Indy 500 on television, though it was a baptism of fire despite making some strong passes across the 260-lap race. However, it was Team Penske's Joseph Newgarden who claimed the spoils, his second win for 2021. He's now just 22 points and two places behind standings leader McLaren's Pato Award with three races to go. The second half of F1's 2021 calendar is set for a shuffle, following the cancellation last week of the Japanese Grand Prix for the second straight season due to rising COVID-19 cases. Japan's cases have spiked since late July, with daily numbers now exceeding 20,000. And while the Olympics and Paralympics held in Tokyo have gone ahead without fans, the Grand Prix cannot. Suzuka's cancellation means not just that Honda will miss its chance at a final home round, but that F1 has now skipped Asia for two years, with the sport confident it can work around it. Current speculation sees Brazil potentially moving to October 24, but organizers have asked for November 14 when the USA is scheduled, with rising COVID cases in Austin. It's rumored that MotoGP host Qatar will fill the gap left by the Australian Grand Prix, returning the calendar to 23 rounds. The United States could soon have two teams on the Formula One grid, with Andretti Autosport owner Michael Andretti talking with a number of teams about a prospective takeover. Andretti, who raced for McLaren in 1993, has allegedly spoken with Haas, but with no progress there, has continued discussion with Alfa Romeo and Williams for a shot at returning to the sport as a team owner. It would be great, but there's a long way to go if it were to happen, Andretti said. If the right opportunity comes up, we'll be all over it, but we're not there yet. Andretti Autosport has won five Indy 500s. Mick Schumacher is set to re-sign for Haas for the 2022 season, with the German rookie's future allegedly sorted over the summer break. Schumacher, son of seven-time F1 world champion Michael, has had a tough maiden campaign so far down the back of the grid, but has shown the way to teammate Nikita Mazepin, with the Russian already signed on a multi-year agreement. To introduce a new car in 22 and introduce a new driver would be uh, would, would be wrong because the focus in 22 needs to be on the new car and not on the new driver. Across the first 11 events, Schumacher beat Mazepin 9 to nil in qualifying and 7 to 2 in races, both when they could be compared. 
the German has also placed highest, 12th in Hungary, the squad's best 2021 result. Schumacher is part of Ferrari's Driver Academy and tested the prancing horse's 2018 car, the SF71H, at Fiorano earlier this year. Daniel Ricciardo may have struggled to get up to speed with his McLaren MCL35M, but the Australian has big ambitions at Woking and wants to be in a prime spot to fight for the 2024 crown. Ricardo is sitting ninth, but equal eighth in the standings. Six places and 63 points behind teammate Lando Norris, with the 32-year-old yet to find his sweet spot with the Mercedes-powered McLaren. But Ricardo knows hard work allied to important infrastructure projects like McLaren's new wind tunnel will get him to where he needs to be long-term in F1's new era. I really just need to try and keep building on where I am now over the next couple of years with McLaren and then hopefully put myself in a prime spot for that 24 season, he said. Ricardo's last race win was the 2018 Monaco Grand Prix when he was with former team Red Bull Racing. Ferrari team boss Mattia Bonotto says that the Scuderia is on the march towards the front, with the results speaking for themselves. The prancing horse finished 2020 down in sixth, its lowest placing since 1980 on 131 points, but after 11 rounds this year is sitting equal third in the standings and already on 163 points, having secured two podiums from the last two races at Silverstone and Budapest. And Bonotto says on pure qualifying pace, the deficit to the front has also been halved, proving proper progress. If we take the average of the entire season, we were 1.4 seconds off the pole, and today we are 0.7 seconds. So 0.7 is still a distance. It's not negligible. We are fully aware of it, he said. Italy's super squad has also upped its game on pit stops, with 84% completed so far this year within three seconds, compared to 48% in 2020, with consistency, not speed, the focus. Haas team boss Gunter Steiner has defended F1's 2022 regulations, stating design creativity won't be stamped out, but says it's not going to immediately be the sport's cure-all. F1's new era cars will be a quantum leap forward for the sport, designed for the first time for closer racing. But Steiner says that the grid won't be shaken up when they're introduced next year. I don't think it will be a complete short term thing that next year all of a sudden everybody will be equal. But in the midterm, I think that will happen. Not everybody will be equal, but uh, the, 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 the playing, field will, uh, playing field will be much more level in, in the midterm. Steiner also spoke about the huge challenge the FIA has ensuring these new era cars do what they've promised, with the dirty air or wake from the rear of the car a critical factor. To make uh, uh, these cars not having a wake or not disturbing the car behind, it's very difficult to do, uh, you know. Uh, and, and if you think there is maybe 20 people trying to uh, make it not happen, you've got 1,000 people making it happen. So uh, I think that a little bit the majority is working on it because if you make a wake, normally you go faster because uh, how you work your air. Williams co-founder Sir Patrick Head is happy to see the squad moving in the right direction after a decade of disastrous results. Head joined the team in 1977 alongside Sir Frank Williams and retired at the end of 2011. But in a chat with F1's official podcast, Beyond the Grid, says he's been keeping a keen eye on the squad. I'd have to say not every year that I was involved were we winners, but for the majority. Uh, so it's been a little sad over the last 10 years to see them performing quite weakly. So I'm very pleased to see them coming back. Head, who consulted for the team in 2019 to lift its dire results, says the squad needed better management, which it now has, led by Jost Capito, and that points in Hungary were a sign of progress. They were obviously assisted by that uh, front-end, first-corner accident, so they're not really there yet. 
on merit. So they've got a little bit of a way to go before they're there. But I think the people in place are good. The determination is good. I don't know very much about the funding myself, but I, I understand that is in place. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.